We covet the feminine spirit of a big-hearted blonde woman, as well as their voices, scents, and everything else that warms our hearts, because women are all about emotions. It is fresh and youthful. Women are ruled by their emotions. Similarly, women are hardwired to seek dominating and masculine men. It is bad for many individuals and for contemporary society, because high dominating masculinity is viewed as harsh and unrelenting. This is the reason why women are attracted to evil guys, such as drug dealers, inmates, and murderers, among others. Mother Nature does not care how we choose to conduct our lives or what psychologists claim. What matters is how animals in the animal realm conduct themselves. This man used to work with me in the past. He had an average appearance, did not frequent the gym, and loved daily beer consumption. He embodied the stereotype of an antisocial jerk since he disliked engaging in polite small conversation and had an attitude along the lines of this is my opinion, and I wouldn't give a reasons causing what he think. Because he didn't have many friends, it was typically just me and two others who occasionally hung out with him. I don't mean that he would be sexy or appealing. I mean that he would be a controlling jerk. If he found something amusing about the girl, he would mock her without remorse and simply laugh. He lacked any filter whatsoever. When communicating with ladies, he would say whatever was on his mind. He was nasty to them when they asked him to perform things as he gave them those orders. And any time he had the chance, he would use sexually explicit terms towards them. These women would be astonished by his careless attitude and bluntness. Now the overwhelming majority of these women will accuse him of being unfriendly, sexist, misogynistic, and nasty. Nonetheless, he continued doing whatever he was doing, whether it was walking away or drinking his beer, had conveyed the message, and he didn't give a crap. He was the only successful individual. What truly astonished me, though, was that after a few hours or even days, the same ladies that you treated with contempt would be banning him, taking him out, and even bringing him lunch at work. As a result, I resolved to ask as to the explanation for his great achievement. He presented me with a response that was uncomplicated, yet incredibly perceptive. He responded, I am unaware of its nature. Every time a woman complains about anything you do or say, she is essentially begging you to continue doing it and saying it. These females are drenched but refuse to accept it. Many guys will submit and retreat before them. This explains why they behave as they do. And once you discover how it operates, they are exposed. Conclusion. It is not something that morality can combat. It is how nature operates. There is nothing we can do to change the situation. They will become wet if they are forceful, blunt, arrogant, dominant, and have a carefree attitude. However, in order to accomplish this, you must completely let go and not care about anything. That is the key. Many males claim they don't care. But the truth is that they truly do care. This is why it is so challenging. No one wants to be perceived as the villain. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.